What's up, nerds? Welcome to Cool Nerd Show. I'm Steve Trezza. I hate myself. And that's Joe. And uh, we're going to review Luke Cage. Yes, we are. Season one. It was okay. Netflix series. We're done already. It was so, great. In Usually we'll do like, we'll kind of not do spoilers for like a minute or two, and then we'll dump into the spoiler section and start just talking. So I can't talk about Rosebud about being that. the name of the sled. Well, that, well that, that's Citizen Kane. Soil and Green is people. That's Soil and Green. The, Snape kills Dumbledore. Yeah. Sure. Right, you don't watch Harry Potter. I don't watch Harry Potter. Scott, he doesn't watch Harry Potter. <clears throat> anyway, um, so we're going to... What do you think of Luke Cage as a whole, without spoiling it? I think that the first, like, seven episodes were really good. And I felt like when he got to, like, the whole, oh no, something happened to Luke arc, it was like, Ugh. And then it got back to, we're back in Harlem arc, and I'm like, yeah! It was slow, but I still enjoyed it. But overall, I would say it's... Easily the worst of the three of that, Jessica Jones, and Daredevil. Yes. Easily. Yeah. Um, so, spoiler free ends now. So, spoiler warning. We're going to talk about what we blah, like, blah. what we don't like, what we think's a little bit of predictions, and then we're going to grade it, and then that'll be it. So, you've been warned. Let's talk about what we like. Joe, blah, what did blah. you like about Luke Cage. Shades is one. the absolute best character of the show. Shades That's what is I like. The best character of the show. <laughs> I agree. Um, Shades was my favorite character. Because in the comics, he's literally just like, yo, man, me and Comanche gonna come at you, Cage. Yo. And I'm like, oh, you're just awful, aren't you? And in this, he's like a like, smart, calculating, upper echelon level gangster. He's very, like, cool and collected. Yeah. And he just, like, grows throughout the show. Like, he doesn't just stay as Stryker's underling. He mm-hmm. eventually, like, makes his own team with Mariah, who... Black Mariah is the, also the other character I think they did really well with. Because Black Mariah in the comics is really like a 500-pound black woman yeah. that like hits people like a truck. And that that's all she does. Yeah. So I like that they made it more of like a political agenda on her end. And about actually rebuilding Harlem. And it seems like she actually does care about Harlem. I thought the, for the most part, the acting in the show was pretty good. Mm-hmm. I thought. Um, Except for Diamondback. Yeah, Diamondback was, was way too hokey. He was so weak. I wish they would have kept... Cottonmouth as the villain throughout the entire series. Yeah, and it just ends with Diamondback maybe appearing at the end. Exactly, because I thought Cottonmouth, I thought he, he was great, great actor. Mm-hmm. And uh, his story, like they built him up and everything and then he dies. Which is the complete opposite of the comics because Cottonmouth in the comics is a very old black man who has sharp teeth. <laughs> and that that is his thing. Um, I liked how it was true to the comics in the origin. Yes. For, partly. Uh, For most of Seagate, yeah. They didn't use the, um, the super soldier serum, but the way that like he escaped, I loved like the two seconds that you saw him in like the Power Man outfit. Oh god, fantastic! With the stupid. Thing. You look like a damn fool. If only he could have, like, got mugged at that point and, like, fought people, like, in that yeah. in that time. That would have been great. Um, but outside of that, the, uh, the the acting was great. I thought Misty Knight did a good job. Uh, Claire did a great job. I didn't realize I, who Claire was while watching the first two, like, shows. And yeah, now me that either. I, now that I know, I'm just like, oh, I'm kind of angry. You know <laughs> they were going to make her Night Nurse? I can leave the review now, right? Which, if you don't know who Night Nurse is, she's a nurse that helps superheroes and they still might do that but they decided not to do it because they're going to use her in doctor strange so night nurse is coming in doctor strange so um anyway keep th- going just keep going a couple other things that i that i did like is i i liked the um the, i liked the music when we were in harlem's renaissance oh, yeah. renaissance harlem's paradise Harlem's renaissance that's going on right now <laughs> yeah Harlem's Paradise. Um, I like. I thought the music in that, and like the rap and the hip hop, and like all of that, and the soul. Yeah, that was cool. That was really good. They did that really well in the series. If we want to break into what we kind of like, don't like. It's now, the other part of the music. The cinematic music. Whoever did the score oh. for the show was terrible. I'm really sad. Hold on. Dainty piano touches. Ding. ding oh, ding, ding, every ding. time there was like a soft ding. moment, it was like a cheesy ding, ding, ding. romantic movie. If you didn't notice it, I don't know how you, it was so noticeable. I don't it know was. How you and it took away it. from the scene a little bit because I hear that I'm like, why? Yeah, who chose and this? I think because they they used ABC for this, and they they um they had they I guess Marvel Netflix collaborated with ABC, and I think that 
is where ABC kind of like shown because that's what I was like. That's where I kind of see that the Agent coming, Carter soundtrack? coming from. Yeah, it was just it wasn't good. It felt weird. It was off. Um, I guess we're in what I don't like now. Yeah, I didn't really like Mike Coulter as Luke Cage. I thought he was very. I don't. I just don't think he can pull off a lead role. I could see that, but I mean. That's why Luke Cage isn't really a lead role except for this. He series. was great in Jessica Jones because he's a side role, which exactly. is what he's going to be also in Power yeah. Man and Iron Fist. Because when, if that eventually happens, he was Defenders just really too. bland. His acting was really bland. But he, also, that's that's I don't know. I mean, Luke Cage in the comics like was racist, jivey. So I think they tried to stay away from that. I was like, we just want a. He like, did say Sweet Christmas a lot. He did say Sweet Christmas a lot. I don't like Sweet Christmas. If there's one thing I don't like, it's Sweet Christmas. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean. Whatever it, it was okay. I yeah. think the people around him made it better. Overall, the story from the throughout the like I said, it was slow. It was easily the slowest of the three, but I still enjoyed it. Um, when you get to the end, it definitely dragged because there wasn't a lot of action. Diamondback is just bad. But how how bad good was it to see him in oh, his that comic suit book outfit? Is like. A poor man's version of the Comic Con costume of like Judge Dredd. It was so good though. It's I loved so it. bad. It was, but and so it's bad. Hammer it was so Tech, good. and it lasts for an entire fight. If it's made by Hammer Tech, if you've watched Iron Man two, that shit sucks. It doesn't do. It breaks on you as soon as you. It's like Acme. He's like Wiley e. Coyote. Like he was just. He was so cartoony, and it didn't fit because they were going for like almost the Max feel. They were of the going comics. for the He's like, role. hey, Kyle, come out and play. He's like, oh. I used to go see the Warriors on the drive-in on Fridays. Oh, it's Willis. Oh, she. Yeah. And uh, that's where some things just... didn't make sense. Where it was like, like they went all the way back to Georgia, Georgia teenagerhood, which for they... like an episode, which they don't do, and all then you... they just came back. Like, yeah. I liked Method Man. Method Man. Method Man was, was awesome. hysterical yeah. in this. <laughs> that was cool. It was really cool that he was actually in an episode for more than just singing his song. Yeah. He actually had a part to do with it. You a double XL? I got you, hold me. <laughs> um, so overall, I thought the series was okay. I didn't think it was spectacular. Um, but I, I definitely enjoyed it. I thought it was watchable and enjoyable. Mm-hmm. So one out of ten, what are you going to grade it? Seven. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. So, so that's a seven three because we round up. Yeah. Ding. Seven three. Luke Cage. It's Harlem's hero. Hero just, for hire. Just watch it. And... What do you think? So I'm... He's obviously going to get out of jail. Uh, I mean, well... Because of Matt Murdock. Yes. And that's how they're going to meet up. Obviously, we're going to have Claire meet up with... All of them. Well, Iron well she, Fist. she's gonna she's taking the Colleen Wing classes, which is going to introduce Iron Fist, because he's probably going to teach her or something like that. Well, no, he'll teach... Colleen already knows some stuff, because she is the daughter of a samurai or some weird stuff. But he's going to meet Colleen... And him and Misty are gonna meet. Misty still did not lose her arm. In she, this. I was I was upset about that. So I'm like, so I thought she was we... gonna lose when she got shot. Sam, I thought like if that was like a Judas bullet, I'd be like, oh yeah. okay, but blows it, up, yeah. her arm comes off. That'd be cool. Um, and Shades, Black Mariah, and Diamondback are all still alive. And Diamondback should be dead. Diamondback should be dead. Uh, Shades, we don't need him anymore. I am so happy with what they've done with him. I like, hope that Shades and Black Mariah team up with. Fisk. Fisk. That's what I think is going to happen. And now Diamondback, and because of Bernstein being there, I don't know whether he's going to kill him or just like put him in a coma. Or hey, if he comes back, I hope they oh like. Oh my god, what if they ruin it and have him come back as the Bushmaster? <laughs> if he comes back, I hope they like crossbones it, where he's like in the first episode uh, for like fifteen minutes and they just <laughs> kill him, and like that's. I it. don't know why he isn't dead. He should have just died. Like Shade should have just had him. He's killed. another henchman for the Defenders to kill. That's what I think. But he's like an upper echelon gang boss now, which is just so. Uh. Also, he well, didn't. He really, fell from power. He doesn't have power use anymore. Knives at he all. used one knife. He used one. One knife. time and threw it in that guy's face, his and it was whole, cool. His whole thing is that he uses yeah, knives, and that's how he actually like almost beats Cage one time. He had Sonic emitting knives, and it was cool. And Luke Cage was like, "Oh wait, I'm tough skin. Shit." <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's our review of Luke Cage. Let us know what you thought of Luke Cage down in the comments below. Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on all of our other segments. You don't have to be there, but thank you. For more nerd videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.